If you think about someone making $176,000 per month, how much time would you guess that person is spending on their business? Most people would say that that person is working all day, every day, to make it work. While that is true that I work super hard and put in long hours into my business, it doesn't mean that I have to. I've structured my business so that it runs and grows without needing my daily attention. I can go on a trip, I can take my laptop and my camera with me, and as long as I have an internet connection, I can operate from anywhere and the business will still grow and thrive. But it wasn't always like this though. Just like a couple of years ago, my calendar was filled with back-to-back -back calls. And while the business was making money, I didn't enjoy it and I had no freedom to do what I wanted. I felt stuck in a business that demanded my constant attention. And if I didn't give it that daily attention, I would lose customers and money. And it was just pure hell. I knew that I had to make a big change if I wanted entrepreneurship to be sustainable. I wanted a business that was fun, fulfilling, scalable, and extremely profitable. And also gave me that freedom that I so much wanted. And fast forward to today, my business is making 4x the income, over $176,000 per month, and it's also growing every single month. And in this video today, I want to show you how you can structure your existing or your first business to make it scalable and profitable without you having to work in it all the time. I wish that I had this video when I started out. It would have helped me to make a lot more money a lot faster. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. And the first thing I want to talk about is that shitty people equals a shitty business. Let me explain. I realized very early in my business that if I felt like crap and if I didn't have any energy, my business didn't perform well at all. And one of my early mentors told me that people don't have business problems. They have personal problems that reflect in their business. Because think about that. A business is just people, especially at the beginning when you're a solopreneur. You are the business. So if you're not optimized, neither is your business. The better and smarter and more disciplined you are, and the more energy and determination you have, the better your business will perform as well. And this is also true when you start to grow a team. The better your people are in the business, the better your business will perform. And this is a massive lesson for entrepreneurs at all levels. Like a small group of hungry killers will always outperform a bigger, inefficient team with unmotivated people because the rule is very simple the one with the highest energy wins think of it like this you have two different football teams playing against each other one team is instructed to play with extremely low energy they're only allowed to walk very slowly while the other team is told to play with super high energy and they can run as fast as they want to which team do you think will win? Well, obviously the team with the higher energy, right? That is allowed to run. I'd even argue that the team with higher energy could have 50% fewer players on the field and still win and outperform the other team. And this was a huge business lesson for me. The better the people in your business are, the better your business will perform. And the easiest fix to this is to focus on the basics. Fix your sleep, your diet, your exercise and your habits, but that's a topic for another video. Because the next thing I wanna talk about is that bigger is not always better. Meaning that a bigger team is not better than having a small team. And I learned this from Sam Ovens because he said that my business ran the best when we were about the size of a band. My info business ran best when it was about the size of a band. We were very close with each other. We had complementary talents. Because you have a singer, a guitarist, a bass player, a drummer, and then a keyboardist. That's exactly how I run my business right now. Five people. And in my case, I am the creator, all right? I'm the one who focuses on product creation, planning, basically the visionary. Then there's the community manager who also handles like operations and some sales as well. Then the third person is just purely a sales guy. The fourth person is focused on customer experience and churn and customer results. And then the fifth and the final one is someone who helps out with a little bit of everything and admin stuff. The main key here is to identify the most powerful levers in your business and then find people who can fit those roles. For example, in our case, we still make a lot of sales over the phone, but I don't take a single of those calls myself 
I've outsourced it completely and we're still going to grow. And learning how to identify and hire talent that loves that specific thing that you don't is absolutely massive. Also giving people in your business room to grow is huge, meaning that people can earn more the better they perform. So for example, if your sales guys are crushing it, they make more money and we all make more money. It's fair. The better they perform, the more money they will make. And I once heard this quote from Jeff Bezos, and I'm paraphrasing, but he said something like, the only way to make someone work like the owner of a business is to make them one. Meaning you don't just have to pay them a flat fee, you can give them room to grow with a commission structure. And that's how you can create a team of hungry killers. The next thing I wanna discuss is the business model itself and how it can ruin you if you're not careful. Because I used to run an agency selling a done for you service, basically selling my time. And it was a great first business. Like it taught me a lot of things that I needed to know, like sales, marketing, customer support, service delivery, etc. But eventually I started to despise the model. Again, I was forced to sell my time and to scale, I would have to hire a bunch of people for service delivery and sales. And I knew that the small team structure that I valued so highly would have to go out the window. I also didn't like the idea of having a massive business with a ton of people and a ton of done for you clients. It would be hard to maintain the quality control over our service delivery. And that just wasn't for me. I knew that I had to switch to selling something more scalable, like a digital product. And that's when I started to look into the info space or the online education space. The idea of creating something just once and then selling it over and over again with instant service delivery felt like a dream. It felt amazing. That's what I wanted to do. And I also saw these other people online who were crushing it and they were selling digital products. And yes, it made an absolutely massive difference for me. I went from working literally my ass off, doing back-to-back -back calls every single day, making around $50,000 per month, having almost no time doing anything that I enjoyed and being scared of like taking trips because I would lose clients, to now making over $176,000 every single month without having to jump on a single sales call. And I also have the freedom to do what I want when I want to do it. And the difference is absolutely massive. So thinking through your business model is absolutely huge. And if you ask me, the info space is the way to go. It holds so much potential. Now, if you wanna learn exactly how I run my business, selling my stuff online, I have a free masterclass for you. And it's right here on my YouTube channel. And I will be linking it to you in the description and somewhere here on the screen. And in this masterclass, I'm showing you exactly how I scaled from zero dollars to over $100,000 per month in just seven months with an online course. I promise you that you will enjoy it and I'll see you there.